Here we consider a simply supported beam, but instead of using the standard arrangement of a roller and a pin, I consider two springs. And my intention is to show how this problem could be analyzed using superposition tables for a standard simply supported. So the beam of interest has lengths 3L. The force P is applied eccentrically. And we have two different springs, Ka and Kb. And the beam has uniform stiffness, Ei. Our objective is to calculate the deflection at the point C for the deflection under the force. Okay. Let us begin with a free body diagram for the beam. I have two reaction forces. These reaction forces by the third law are reapplied to the springs. And of course, by looking at the free body diagram for the beam, I can write down basic equilibrium equations and uh, determine that the reaction forces are 2P over 3 on this side and P over 3 on the right. Now, let me redraw this picture. And now I want to think about how the beam deforms. It has two modes. One mode has to do with bending of the beam. It has nothing to do with the springs. It basically says I freeze the displacements at this point. So I end up with a simply supported beam loaded by force P. And this is clearly tabulated. The second mode is the points A and B displace because the spring stretched, right? And this mode has nothing to do with bending of the beam. So in this mode, the springs do not stretch. In this mode, the beam does not deform. So let us analyze these two modes separate. Beam bending. Of course, we have a table for this, and I will use this table by setting B equal to 2L, right? X equal to L, B again is 2L, and X L. And this gives me the expression for the deflection of the beam under the force P with the provision that the supports are classical. So a roller and a pin. Let me think about spring stretch. So in this mode, the original beam does not deform, rather it moves as a rigid body. And this rigid body motion is controlled by the deflection 2P over 3KA on this end and P over 3KB on this end. And I am interested in the deflection at the point C, and I call it P sub S of L, S for the springs. So to calculate this deflection, I need to deal with similar triangles. And so I will redraw the picture, but I'll also use this horizontal line, which means that this distance is P sub S minus this distance. And this distance is this whole distance minus P 
over 3 kb. Now I look at the triangle at the bottom and I see here a large and a small triangle actually and I can write the similarity condition, this distance divided by 2L is equal to this distance divided by 3L. And when I put it all together, I obtain the answer for the displacement at the point C, at the point of interest, due to stretching of the springs. Now, I can put it all. Let's see what I have. So I have the displacement due to bending. That came from the analysis of the simply supported beam based on the superposition. Then I have the displacement due to the compliance of the springs. And that was done on the previous slide. And now I simply say that the total deflection is the sum of VB and VS. And here is the answer. 